Mr. Bradley wanted promotion. Well, Mr. Bradley, challenge accepted. Roll intro. Hello and welcome to episode 11 of non to Glory. I'm Adam and on today's episode we catch up with the transfers, the start of the season and then we have a home game against Torquay and an away game against Chorley. Since you were last with me, we have gone from beating Maidenhead 5-0 to winning Aldershot, Harrogate, Macclesfield and Dover before two draws, one against Wrexham and one against Woking and then running out 2-1 winners over Dagenham. Although we have started fairly well with the uh, what, five straight victories, we have struggled when Angel doesn't score and he hasn't been scoring very often, even though he has scored three here and three on the first game and one here. In between there, he hasn't chipped in and he has played poorly in some of those games. So we have been searching round and as you'll see in the transfers, I am still busy. <laughs> Um, so since you were last with me we had talked about Edwin Gagliardi since then I've managed to sign Morgan Whitaker on loan until the end of the season we aren't paying anything towards his wages he can play on the left which is what we needed he can also play on the right he can play up top he's a three three and a half star current ability five star potential ability and joins us on loan from Derby was on loan in Spain last year um, in the Segunda Division B with Real Union. We also then brought in Juanito Lopez, who is a three star current ability, five star potential ability. He is on loan from Barnsley. He has one assist, I thought he'd scored, he obviously hasn't. He's got one assist in the two games that he's played, but he's only come on a sub in both those games when Angel's been playing poorly. We saw Mar Maurizio Pochettino. Um, he is on £30 a week, he's straight out on loan, he's at York City um, and he's one of these under 20 players. Needing some firepower, uh, Martel Taylor Crossdale was recommended by my director of football. He can score goals at this level so we've brought him in on loan, we're playing £750 of his wages, he's a 3 star current ability, 5 star potential ability. and hasn't really played made his professional debut for us but has scored in those two substitute appearances we then purchased another one of these under 20 signings that we needed which was jack wakeley who come in from chelsea he is a three star a two and a half star current ability five star potential ability i'll explain the goalkeeper situation in a second um, we bought in marcus dewhurst three and a half star current ability five star potential ability he comes in on loan from sheffield united was on loan at guiseley last year well has been for the last two years but was rated as the best goalkeeper in the national north last season uh, we brought in paul walston and that was a mistake ex manchester united keeper was released on a free um, was £575 per week but as you can see was the fourth best goalkeeper we had he is better than Fernandes but at £575 per week with no improvement I quickly shipped him out um, if he's landed on his fleet they're paying him £850 per week uh, on a two year contract at Ebb's fleet and so he has gone straight out the other signing another under 20 which is Tony Fuidas two and a half star current ability four and a half star potential ability and signs from Real Madrid we have also in this period um, sent out Romaro Vieira on loan to Scarborough Henry Bonnet on loan to Geisler Tillman Yarn on loan to Bromley Albert Salido on loan to Southport as we mentioned earlier Paul Wollstone and Pochettino now if we take a look at the squad uh, we're waiting for Marcus Dewhurst to come back from uh, his injury. He was injured when we signed him for a week. Um, he's just recovering, so he should take over from Jonathan Dubai once he is uh, fit. Now the reason is is because let's have a quick look at Jonathan Dubai. So Marcus Dewhurst is rated as the best keeper. Fuedes, who we signed, um, is better than Fernandez, and Fernandez does have potential. But I told him he was poor in the last few games, which he was. He didn't like it, spat the dummy out of the pram, hasn't trained on 
even though he's got some potential and so we're going to loan him out as soon as we can and Jonathan Debar will be the understudy to Dewhurst with Fuedes another one that can come in there so our squad now looks to have some depth we are without Va Van Korvenberg because of injury uh, sorry from uh, Van Korvenberg because of suspension and so we will be playing at home to Torquay the first thing I do want to do before we do that is what we did was I wanted to explain the finances and why we were sat with 500 and I forgot to go to it on the last episode so if we take a look at the schedule you'll see what I did was set up two cups at the, at the very very start of the season um, both were on TV gate receipts and TV money pushed us up for a couple of hundred thousand um, which keeps the finances nice as well as the injection loan and the injection from the chairman and we are projected to just a £50,000 loss which is nice considering where we were last season and so the team that we are going to place out against Torquay is Johnson on the right, Odessina, Odimeo in the centre, Boys on the left, De Beer keeps his um, place in the goal until Dewhurst is back Estrada comes in for the sp suspended Valkenberg we've got Atranto and Magoma in the centre with Whitaker on the left, Kimpioka on the right and Angel up front so we're playing Torquay today and I would expect us to win fully expect them to win and keep this run going So we kick off and it's Magoma who tries an early shot, 20 seconds in, it's a corner and Tranto gets the ball. It should be good when we get Dewhurst in there. I don't see many weaknesses in this first team that we've got and the bench is looking pretty strong. And so it would be nice to um, grab a win here and keep this form going. We have started well, six draw, uh, six wins and two draws. Keeps a second to Barnet, who were in outstanding form. They've got Ben Kemis, who I went for. That's Angle, who hits the post. Angel hasn't seemed, apart from the first day, and then the hat-trick he scored, the same striker he was last season when he was just running riot. And you can see there, shots off target. And I am have a look so team talk I am going to bring my Taylor Crossdale on and let him have a full half so Crossdale comes on and this is a poor game to bring you guys back for we've, we've not really created much Angel hit the post and we don't look like a team that's expecting to get promotion. That will drop us to third. I'm going to bring Garmendia on for Magoma and Adu Pepper for boys. 16 shots and one on target shows you how out of form our forwards are. And it really just is going to peter out to a nil-nil. I thought they were going to score in the last second there. So very disappointing. 18 shots and one on target. It's so now on to the away game against Chorley. And for the team we put out for this is Dewhurst making his debut in goal. We have Johnson, Odessina, Odomeo and Boys at the back. Estrada keeps his place as the defensive midfielder. Tranto and Maga Magoma. Kimpioka on the right, Whitaker on the left. And Angel, we're going to give him one last chance here um, to show that he can do something. He did kick his toys out of the pram when I told him he needed to book his ideas up. So we will see what he does today. But it might be paving the way for Taylor Gross Crossdale to take over very soon. And although we are doing really well with Alfreton, it is probably looking like we need to look towards another job. Eight and a half thousand to do this isn't uh, wage budget to do this isn't fantastic. And so 
we need to keep our eyes open for jobs that are becoming available and um, that are higher up than this um, so we can do something because although we could do something here next season worries me that we wouldn't have a budget to compete as well as turning professional in League 2 if we were to go up and if we weren't to go up we'd have the same sort of budget and I don't really think I could improve past what we've already done and we're quiet again 8 shots and 1 on target a Tranto now and this is Chorley who go through and now Angel and we have a penalty a Tranto will step up who scores by far and away our best player at the team good penalty and he has carried the team in some games to victories and and draws and we are undefeated I do have to remember that when I'm criticising Angel's performances and that we came up from the National North last year but the board expect us to do something and so we do have to do that Kim Pioca getting challenged there and Angel isn't having a great game and that is a goal and it's Magoma who scores that fumbled into the net, Atranto takes it then I think it's Odomeo and Magoma and their defenders are just fumbling around and we score it's 2-0 before the break and I'm very pleased with how they've done I'm disappointed in Angel again. He's not playing any different position than last season. And we haven't changed anything apart from the personnel behind him, which we've improved. And he is getting the chances, he's just not taking them. He's fluffing them more often than not. Magoma, Angel, and there's the goal. Eighth goal of the season. Magoma with another assist, it's Whitaker who passes, Magoma over the top and Angel gets through and it is 3-0 and Angel scores, it is his 8th goal of the season and so maybe this is a turning point for him and we've got Johnson now, Johnson goes through, Angel's there, lays it back to Whitaker, gets an assist and it's 4-0 Rather than taking the shot, lays it back and Whitaker scores a goal. And it's 4-0, 55 minutes gone against Chorley. Kim Pioca's not having a great game. Let's see what we can do for the final 22 minutes. We want to get Kim Pioca off. But how do we want to do it? Aaron Sibia doesn't prefer the right hand side. Don't have Adu Pepper on OB Crossdale. I do want to get on, but probably not as yet. There's Whitaker and Kim Pioca, I think, there. 4 0 up, four different scorers. Barnet drawing with older shot, but still keeping that top spot. Gale with another shot there. I think Barnet are going to be our New York where they uh, continue chasing down. But older shot who we've beat just behind us as well. And Magoma, it's 5 0. Second goal of the season there. Boys, Angel who lays it through to Whitaker, but it's the defender who can't deal with it. Magoma with a top corner finish. And it is 5 0. 30 shots. Great performance today. Very much different contrast from the last game. That was a very good performance. So that's the second game over with. Um, we now will look where we are in the table. Let's put the big table on. So Barnet at top with 26 points unbeaten. Old Alfreton, that's us. We are on 24 points unbeaten. Then come Aldershot on 23 points and we have beaten Aldershot, that's their only defeat. Then it's tight behind there, so there's three that's starting to break away already. 
if we look there, Angel is the top scorer with eight goals. So I have I've been really harsh with Angel. Um, but if you take his two tricks away, he scored twice, and so he does need to do more in between those matches. Zakiri comes second, then Edwards third. Atranto picking up from last season five man of the matches awards. Atranto is our best player with an average rating in ten games of eight point seventeen. Chiori Johnson, our vice captain, behind him on seven fifty two. Fernandez has kept five clean sheets, but he has up been replaced and assists Magoma with five. We have a look into the schedule. So we're probably going to get Chelmsford, Barnet, Ebbsfleet, Halifax and Sutton out the way and probably come back for that FA Cup fourth qualifying round and then a big game against Yeovil. So what we'll do is get those games out of the way, come back for those games and then see where we, where we are and what we're doing. In the meantime, I'll be looking to see what jobs become available. Thank you for watching. See you on the next episode. If you've got this far, just hold on a few seconds more. If you've liked what you've seen, please like just down there. Also subscribe, you'll see what else is coming from the channel. We've got other football content coming and potentially other series that you may enjoy. But this is non league to glory. Thank you for watching. See you soon.